The Australia-based mineral exploration company ABZ Minerals is entangled in a legal dispute related to the ownership of the Monono Lithium project, probably one of the most significant lithium deposits in the world. Shares of the company have been on a trading halt for more than three weeks and they were scheduled to return to trade on Wednesday. However, the trading of securities could not recommence during the week. Let's take a closer look at what's going on. Lithium has become an important component of the low carbon energy transition. It's been extensively used in the manufacturing of lithium ion batteries to power various portable devices and EVs. As a result, demand for lithium is rising and due to its limited supply, prices of battery metal have surged more than 400% in the last one year alone. And to capitalize on these gains, Chinese mining companies have been on a spending spree over the past few years, acquiring lithium mining assets across the globe. The Congo has been a center of attention for many Chinese miners, with the country producing the largest volumes of cobalt in the world. And ABZ's Monono project is just one of the many projects located in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Africa. In May, the nation's Minister of Mines awarded a mining license to Dafka Mining SA-owned business for the flagship Monono project. The license covers the complete Roche Dura proven resource, one of the most significant and untouched mineral deposits in the world. The remaining 25% stake of Darthcom is owned by the Congolese D'Exploitation Mineraire SA. And with the mining license granted, Cominieri was expected to hand over its 10% interest to the DROC government, according to the laws. But at the same time, ABZ also holds a contractual option to overtake 15% of the remaining stakes from Comunieri. Although a binding contract is yet to be signed, ABZ has also agreed to sell its 24% interest in Dathcom to the battery maker Stu's Howe Cap Energy Technologies for around $240 million US dollars. And assuming this deal is signed, Suzhou would own a 24% interest in Dathcom, the DRC government 10% and the remainder 66% would be owned by ABZ. However, Comineri wants to sell its 15% interest in China's Jincheng Mining Company, which has become a prime reason for this mess. Regarding the sale, ABZ argues that the sale of 15% interest to Jin Cheng would be a material breach of the preemptive rights contained in the existing Dathcom shareholders agreement. Meanwhile, Dathomir Mining, the previous owner of 15% stakes in Dathcom, has also raised questions about the validity of the share certificate held by ABZ. Additionally, Jin Cheng has also confirmed to take action against ABZ to secure the stakes. More updates to follow. I'm Holly Shields reporting for Kalkine Media.